breaking. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 2. Thanks. Okay. In light of California's power problems, the need to save energy has never been more urgent. That's why a new school is getting lots of attention. From the furniture to the state-of-the-art energy-saving equipment, Millennium Elementary in Washington State is simply green all over. Lillian Kim has the story. Would you please look at this new Seattle area school? Students are taught reading, writing, and arithmetic. But here, the emphasis is also on resources. Millennium Elementary's green philosophy puts the environment at the head of the class. Right now, we're starting with the basics about litter. If you see litter, pick it up. When we teach writing, they can write about it. When we teach reading, they can read about it. Partially powered by solar panels and windmills. Millennium is considered the most environmentally friendly school in the state of Washington. The boys' bathrooms even have no flush, waterless urinals. With the new century coming up, we want to take a look at conserving our resources, making better use of them, and this will be a, pro a project concept idea to see if this will work, and they'll expand that to other schools. Other green features include a stormwater collection pond, a five-acre natural wetland for hands-on environmental studies, and a geothermal pump system that uses ground temperature to heat and cool the school. We're helping the environment. We're using different technology, and it's kind of cool. Millennium's emphasis on the environment even extends to the decor, the trim, the furniture, even the carpet are shades of green. Most of the earth-friendly gadgets cost more than traditional equipment, but school officials expect to save money in the long run by spending less on energy costs, while at the same time saving the Earth's resources for future generations. In Kent, Washington, Lillian Kim, KCAL 9 News. To give you an idea of how much water will actually be saved, Millennium Elementary's no-flush urinals are expected to conserve 144,000 gallons of water each year. From KBOA TV4 Tucson, this is Eyewitness News at 10. The average urinal uses 45 to 60,000 gallons of water a year. Now there's a new trend in public men's rooms in Tucson. No water, no flushing. Pamela Davis explains how it works. Go into most any men's room, and you'll see a waste of water. But check out this men's room at Arizona Stadium. It's flushless and... No, they don't smell. It's hard to believe. No water, no flushing, and no stench. The odor comes from bacteria. When water meets urine, it creates bacteria. So we don't use water, so we don't create bacteria. Most of the men's rooms at Arizona Stadium now have waterless systems. We're saving right now about 22,000 gallons of water per event, every game. That's about as much water as you have in the average backyard swimming pool. They're the fixtures of the future. Read the sign if you're not sure what to do. Just use it and walk away. We monitored it for the first game, and uh, surprisingly, the public took to it very well. We had some weird looks, uh, some surprised expressions, but overall very well accepted. How does it work? Think gravity, plus a special trap filled with a blue fluid that stops the smell. I'm told the custodial staff is thrilled with these things because they're very easy to clean. About once every three months, you take an extractor tool and you just pull the drain out and throw it away. You don't even have to touch it. Because who would want to? Since they're easy to clean, they're quick to catch on. Waterless wonders are turning up all over Tucson. Fort Huachuca is a success story. Um, we've installed 195 recently. Um, they're going to be saving over uh, 10 million gallons of water a year. You'll see them at the Desert Museum. Kitt Peak has changed theirs out. Um, Century Gateway, Century Park 16. Um, boy, we've just got them all over Tucson. And one more time, convince me. Does it smell? Absolutely not. So maybe it's time to flush the old system. For Daybreak, Pamela Davis, TV4 Eyewitness News. This past summer, when our area experienced some of its worst droughts on record, help may be on the way. Fox 5's Al Feinberg tells us about a Frederick, Maryland man who is doing his part to keep the water flowing well into the future by slowing it to a trickle today. 
In this new age of conspicuous consumption, Chris Heiser is an old-fashioned conservationist. Especially when it comes to what? And I've been concerned about it for years. So it was only natural that the stateside restaurant of which Chris's wife, Nita, is owner, should now sport one of these in the men's room. This is a waterless urinal. Mainly used in the Southwest, the waterless urinal was discovered by Chris on vacation in an Arizona restroom. I walked in there, did the business, walked away, and nothing happened. Using chemicals to deodorize what gravity then takes down the drain, this waterless urinal is a pioneering piece of plumbing in these parts. This is the first one in Frederick County. Now that's a distinction. Yes. Three out of four stateside restaurant customers are of the male variety. I thought it was going to flush when I walked away. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> Yet the waterless urinal seems to be a hit with everybody who sups and sips here. The female personnel that come in and out of the restaurant, they're showing their male counterparts. When they hear about it, they want to come in here and show them it. It's quite an interesting conversational piece. <laughs> Chris says that if 100 of his customers use the just under $500 waterless urinal each day, he'll recoup its cost and save 100,000 gallons of water in just a year. Saving the water is a valuable commodity. Uh, we can help in the future and our, let our children have future with water. In fact, Chris Heiser is so excited by the restaurant's new waterless urinal that when he retires early next year from his full-time job with the Maryland State Police, excuse me, Chris is going to be the local sales rep for these things. Whose marketing slogan Chris will now share for us all. Peeing is believing. In Frederick, Maryland. <laughs> Al Feinberg, Fox 5 News. Eyewitness News at 6 with Gary Waddell, Paula Francis, Kevin Jennison, and Dave McCann. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A California entertainer thinks he, er, entrepreneur thinks he has a simple way to flush out Southern Nevada's water problems. The idea is a waterless urinal. Eric Levine shows us how it works. If Klaus Reichardt gets his way, you'll never hear this sound again. Reichardt spent the last nine years promoting his waterless, odorless urinal. There is a chemical reaction between water and urine. It breaks down the urea and you get the ammonia smell. Well, if you don't have water anymore and all your urine goes underneath the, uh, the blue seal in the trap, there is no more odor. The urinal's design sends the urine into a submerged filter where it passes through a blue liquid and is trapped. The next person repeats the process and the old urine is forced down the drain. The Venetian Hotel and Nellis Air Force Base have already signed on. The no-flush, no-smell urinal is not entirely maintenance-free. Every three months you need to take a tool like this, reach in, take out the filter, and replace it with another one. The biggest advantage of the waterless urinal is it doesn't use the estimated 40,000 gallons of water flush urinals use each year. Reichardt thinks Clark County could save 2.6 million dollars annually. Being the driest major city in the United States, it's important that we save water however we can. If it's a waterless urinal that helps us save water, which it does, and that's important to us. The Las Vegas Water District is testing the idea and installed two waterless urinals at the Desert Demonstration Gardens. It may be a big sign of what's to come. Most people who still have not used it, I have this stupidly little saying, this is peeing is believing, you know, once you used our urinal, is you absolutely convinced that it works. Eric Levine, Eyewitness News. Okay. The waterless urinal cost about the same as regular urinals, and they can be installed to existing lines where the flush urinals used to be. Hmm. Maybe an idea that's time has come. Did he say peeing is believing? He did say that. That's <laughs> what I was laughing at. So I guess we can say that on the 6 o'clock news. I don't know. I hope so.